Have you ever wondered if time is like a giant puzzle where all the pieces, your past, present, and future, are already in place? It might sound a bit crazy, but this could be true. How, you ask? Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery of time together. But before we get started, take a moment to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. Be sure to hit that notification bell as well, because we have more amazing videos on the way. So in our everyday thinking, time seems pretty straightforward. It is like a timeline, ticking away from the past through the present and into the future. It's like flipping through the pages of a book, right? However, what if time is more like a big block where everything is happening all at once? Think of it as if time were a gigantic movie reel, all the scenes playing together. This notion is known as the block universe hypothesis. Imagine you're watching a movie, but instead of scenes unfolding one after the other, every moment in the film is happening right there on the screen simultaneously. It's as if the movie is frozen and you can see every frame all at once. That's the kind of idea the block universe hypothesis brings to the table. It is a different way of picturing time that might turn our usual thinking on its head. Imagine watching a video of your life, from the moment you were born to this very second, and even your future lying on your deathbed, all happening at the same time. Sounds mind-boggling, doesn't it? But let's break it down a bit. The block universe hypothesis suggests that time is like a block of ice that is frozen and unchanging. Every moment in your life, be it your past, present, or future, is like a snapshot within this block. So, you being born, watching this video, and lying on your deathbed are all happening simultaneously within this block. It's a bit like looking at a photo album, where each page captures a different moment from your life. All those moments exist, but we're just flipping through the pages, experiencing them one at a time. It challenges our usual way of thinking about time, where things happen in a clear order. Now, shifting our focus, let's explore another aspect that adds a twist to the already puzzling nature of time, and that is something called time dilation. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, Time isn't this constant, one-size-fits-all concept. Relativity is based on one powerful principle, cosmic democracy. The fact that the point of view of all observers in the universe is equally valid. All those nows have to be equally real. But if this is the case, your past, present, and your future all have to exist at the same time, right now. Instead, it's flexible, adapting to the circumstances around it. It's a bit like thinking of time as a rubber band that can stretch and shrink based on certain factors. For instance, if you're cruising through space in a spaceship at a super fast speed, time might flow differently for you compared to someone who's just hanging out on Earth. It's as if the speed at which you're moving has a direct impact on how time passes. Moreover, the strength of gravity can also play a role. The stronger the gravity, the more it can warp time. This means time isn't this constant thing. It's flexible and can change depending on where you are and how fast you're going. So imagine time as a stretchy, bendy rubber band, responding to the speed you're going and the gravity in your surroundings. It's this malleable aspect of time that adds another layer to our understanding, making it even trickier to pin down and explain in simple terms. Now let's dive into the tiny world of quantum mechanics, where things get even weirder. Imagine particles, the tiniest building blocks of everything, existing in multiple states at the same time. If quantum stuff is really uncertain, the future can't be set in stone. But if the future is an untold story, it can't be real in the same way as the past is. So what happens when uncertain things, like the decay of our atom, become real? Is that moment the present? Is this now? But before we saw that cosmic democracy makes it impossible to define an absolute now. It's like having your cake and eating it too. This concept, called superposition, makes us question what's really happening before we look. It challenges our everyday understanding of how things work. Instead of particles neatly picking one state, they can juggle between multiple possibilities all at once. It's a bit like spinning a coin. Before it lands, it's in this in-between state, both heads and tails at the same time. Now, let's apply this idea to the world of quantum mechanics. It means that before we observe or measure a particle, it's not in a definite state. 
It's in a sort of limbo, existing in various states simultaneously. It's like trying to guess the outcome of a magic trick before the magician reveals it. So this concept of superposition encourages us to question what's really going on at the tiniest levels of our reality. It's as if particles are playing a game of hide and seek, and only when we peek into their world do they decide where they'll be. So the future could exist in multiple possibilities until we observe or experience it. It's like having different endings to a story and only when you read it do you find out which one happens. So, does this mean our future is set in stone? Are we just following a script written in the block universe? Well, it's a bit like being in a giant maze. The walls of the maze are the possibilities within the block universe, but you get to decide which path you take. So even though the walls are there, you still have some freedom to choose your way through the maze. It's like playing a video game with different levels. The game has a structure, but you decide how you want to navigate and what choices you make. So even if the future exists in this block, your actions and decisions contribute to how it all unfolds. In the end, the paradox of time makes us think beyond our usual understandings of past, present, and future. It's like looking at a painting and realizing that all the colors, shapes, and details are already there, even if we're only seeing one small part at a time. While the idea that the future might already exist challenges our brains, it also sparks curiosity and a sense of wonder. So next time you find yourself wondering about the future, remember that it might be happening right now in the vast block of time, waiting for you to experience it one moment at a time. We're sure you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you have yet to do so. Be sure to hit that notification bell as well, because we have more interesting videos on the way.